they need to turn that from a liability into an asset. And the best way to do it is convert it into Bitcoin because Bitcoin's going up more than 100% a year. Cash is debasing at 15% a year. But people put money in cash because it is stable and uh, presumably, uh, even though you're, you're quite right that cash can, can lose value in, uh, in real terms, but Bitcoin can be a very valuable asset, a very volatile asset as well, right? You know, it used to be, but it's looking much better by the month. Bitcoin's the world's first engineered safe haven asset, and it's running on the world's first digital monetary network. I mean, everybody in the world, every institutional investor is looking for a safe haven, and they're all losing faith in gold, and they're losing faith in, in sovereign debt as a safe haven. Uh, so Bitcoin is sitting at the right place at the right time. It's very appealing to anybody that wants to preserve shareholder wealth. Hi, Michael. Rahel Solomon here. Question. So you say it's you know, becoming less volatile. And yet I wonder, do you think that Bitcoin still has a credibility issue? And if so, um, how do we move past that or investors such as yourself move past that? You know, if you'd asked me about Bitcoin in February, I would have said bit what? In <laughs> March, everything changed. And since March... We've had Paul Tudor Jones and Stanley Druckenmiller, and we've had Bill Miller, and we've had Rick Reeder, and we've had Guggenheim, and we've had Skybridge, we've had MicroStrategy, we've had Square. We've got an avalanche of billion dollar entities coming into this space. And they're not here to speculate on leverage uh, with an uncorrelated asset. They're here because they want the world's best safe haven investment grade treasury reserve asset. So as the institutions buy Bitcoin, its volatility changes and the characteristics of the asset class are maturing. I, would, I, I just want to come back and, and poke a little bit at the, at the safe haven thought there, because it's not very long ago that this was an asset that went up to $20,000 and then it was back down at $3,000. And if you were looking for it to be a store of value, um, that would that would be a store of unvalue. I mean, so so you, you you make the argument now that because a lot of people are coming into it, the the dynamics of the marketplace have changed. That that it's not going to be prone to those kinds of dramatic sell-offs. Is that am I understanding you correctly? Look, it's 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 totally different investors. It's institutions, major mm -hmm. corporations. It's, there's no leverage. The, the use case is different. The use case is to buy a treasury reserve asset and hold it for a decade. Massachusetts Mutual, a life insurance company, is buying it. Why? You want a long duration asset. Bitcoin is engineered synthetic pharmaceutical grade gold. It's all of the benefits of gold, but you can't make any more of it. It's got none of the hangover of gold. And so it's appealing to people that want to store their money away for many, many, many years. There's nothing better. 